racing to win as we preview Happy Valley Wednesday night up to race number three. It's the Coatwall Handicap. Class four over the 1,200 metres. Got exponential with the blinkers off. The crossover noseband off and the shadow roll goes on. Sprint Ford is up three pounds for his last start second. Zach gets on board. He's ridden the horse twice for two seconds. Can't touch this on debut on the back of four trials. Lucky Turbo wears blinkers. He's had two trials at Happy Valley. He wore blinkers in three of four. Maldives the seven ran sixth on debut and was lame in the front right leg after the race. He's only beaten three and three quarters. Made the debut even better. Majestic Conqueror, he's Happy Valley debut. He's had one trial here in December of 2019. And Fantastic Fabio, the likely leader, drawn barrier at number 11. Can't touch this. And Fantastic Fabio, MC Hammer. And Fabio have been up to Chung Fatom. A few pace scenarios here. Majestic Conqueror out of gate number 9 and Fantastic Fabio certainly out of gate number 11 for Victor Wong. The other option may be sprint forward to Leeds if those other two horses aren't there. Exponential can race forward. Sky Treasure can't touch this on the three wide line. The little query I had was around Harmony and Home because they led in a recent barrier trial with him. He has gone forward in the past but he's got gate 12. Apprentice Clay, maybe they roll the dice and go forward if they can on Harmony and Home. Uh, first one we're going to have a look at here is um, Sprint Forward down the back. He just had a decent jump out and he's just pulling up as we uh, get to him here. So he's fit, ready to go. Uh, John Moore, of course, uh, with his second last meeting here at Happy Valley. So he goes nicely. Maldives, uh, Mark touched on him earlier on. That's him 329 in the blue saddlecloth closest to us. Just working with Lucky Missile. Another one added a jump out. Now, Zach Purden rode him here. Blake Shin will ride him on race day. And uh, Majestic Conqueror. Now, this horse is coming to Happy Valley for the first time. And he's very fit. He's had seven runs this season. Looks like he'll be suited by um, Happy Valley. Should go to the front as well. So his work's been good leading into it. We start the replays with the sprint forward, Tom. He leads for home here, gets run down by Bullish. Brother, he's come up super short at 1.7. Yeah, a lot of early money on him from the taxi drivers. 1.7 into 1, uh, led easily last time out, and he fought really hard, just was headed late over the final uh, stages. So I thought he had every chance, uh, really. Zach Purton jumps on board. He's uh, two rides on this horse for two second placing, so hoping he can throw him over the line here. Yeah, I've got him in the numbers, but you wouldn't entertain me at 1.7. Maldives, lame after this debut, where he runs on and runs six. So that's an even bigger effort from him, Paul. Yeah, it was a good run from him. Now, Zach's been doing a lot of work on this horse, but he won't be riding him on race day. Uh, Blake Shin will be aboard. Uh, barrier number two uh, for, for Maldives as well, as you mentioned, was a good debut. He hit the line strongly enough, and he comes to Happy Valley for the first time. So, look, I found a spot for him on, on the back of this run, and he's a decent price at 16 to 1 as well. Yeah, he certainly made some late ground down the outside there. He's since trialled. He was pushed out a little bit there over the final stages in that trial, but he was all right, I thought. And he has trialled at Happy Valley before, so he has seen the track. Two horses that have also trialled Tom come out of uh, this trial at Sha Tin. Harmon in home wins. He's drawn wide on Wednesday night and exponential runs fourth. He was disappointing last time, but racing well before that. Yeah, he was. Uh, led in a barrier trial here at uh, Harmony and Home. He was held together, I thought, over the final stages. He's been uh, third on three occasions from his six starts. He had a really good uh, run behind the runner a couple of runs ago. And I did like the trial from Exponential. Shadow roll on. You can see him sporting it uh, there. He has trialled at Happy Valley in the past as well. But just like the way he got to the line there with the shadow roll on. Yeah, I found a spot for Exponential as well. I agree with Tom. I think uh, he's going well. And he is already a winner this season when he did win on debut. And that was mischievous Sunday on the extreme outside running third in that trial. So if he comes out and performs well in race one, it will further frank the former and Harmony in home. And Exponential, where did you find the top four here, Paul? I'm going to go with one at a big price here. He should be paying close to 30 to one. He's 23 at the moment. Is our number 10 here, Majestic Conqueror. He comes to Happy Valley for the first time. Of the pace runners, he's drawn the inside. He can either go forward lead, or if they go a bit silly, he can hand up. Uh, Wagner Borges will work it out. He does ride Happy Valley very well. So I've got him on top at a big price. Sprint forward the favourite, Exponential, and Maldives in the back of that uh, debut run. 10 3 one, seven, but 10 each way for me. I went with the one on top, Exponential for uh, David, uh, rather, uh, Douglas White and uh, Antoine Hamlet. He's had that uh, one barrier trial at uh, Happy Valley, but did like that trial recently with a shadow roll on. A little disappointing last time out behind uh, Yi Chong Pegasus in, in the market, but I think he can go close here. Sprint forward certainly a must. Maldives uh, liked his first up run, and Harmony and Home through that same trial as Exponential. 1, 3, 7 and 2. It's early in betting, but both Tom and Paul have their runners at double figures for the third.